Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a rather impromptu video today because I just got a package and I totally forgot I ordered this last week and I was like, you know what? This is a pretty ridiculous luxury purchase. I should open it on camera and share my initial reactions and thoughts on it. There are a lot of ridiculous things that luxury designers produce and we all fall into that trap sometimes. I have spoken about this before. Saint Laurent has a collection called Reeve de Watt, which has some like lower price point items in it as well as higher price point items but just like a collection of things that, that then get the Saint Laurent brand on them and yeah I purchased two more things from that collection one of them that looked super cute on the website and I hope it is just as cute in person but today I am guilty of making a ridiculous luxury purchase so I'm going to go ahead and open that right now and then we can get into the rest of this video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel. This is my channel, Rachel Went Shopping. I talk about luxury, all things shopping addiction, a lot of handbags. If that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I might start doing a lot more videos about ridiculous luxury purchases because there are so many categories out there that you may not even know are offered by some of these luxury houses. I apologize if my lighting is pretty dark. It's dark and gloomy and rainy where I am, which is terrible. I hate it when it's depressing like that outside, but perfect day to film an impromptu video for you guys. All right, here is the package. I placed this order last week. It arrived today, which is August 9th. Not sure how long it'll take me to get this video up. It came via FedEx. I feel like I ordered it on Thursday or Friday, so it actually shipped pretty quickly. If you remember last time, I placed an order from Saint Laurent like this. I selected to have the gift packaging and it was just way too much packaging. It was extremely excessive. So this time I did not select the gift packaging option. So I am interested to see how this comes packaged. Here we go. Oh, it came packaged in all of the Saint Laurent packaging anyways. So here we have what I presume to be the receipt. A return label you can return it within 30 days and then so I believe this might just be one of the items because I only see one item on the receipt and I only have one box here so here you go take the ribbon off All right, here we go, you guys. It is a Saint Laurent visor. I don't know if you can see that. I think I'm going to keep this, so I'm going to rip off the plastic and give you guys hmm. this plastic is like, whoa. It's like sewn into, all right, I think I got it. All right, so there you go. It is a Saint Laurent visor. And I don't know if it's showing up on screen, but it basically is like ombre from orange to pink to darker red. And then it says Saint Laurent in like a 3D puffy text right there. And it has a nice thick cotton like band here. And then it has an elastic strap in the back, which is great because I have a giant head. So this should fit me no problem. Oh my God, okay. I'm kind of loving this. What I will say <laughs> is that there was no UV protection quoted on the site here. So I don't know. Let's see, outer fabric, 100% cotton, foam, elastic, nylon, elastane, polyester. Let's see if it says anything about the like UV protection, but I don't think so. 
So this visor costs $125, which is a lot of money, but I loved this ombre print. I'll show you the picture that I first saw when this, when I went to the website. I don't even know why I randomly ended up in this section again, but I was like, let me just see if there's anything new. And then I saw this picture with like the reflection of the logo on the face. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that ombre thing happening there? And then I clicked on the visor and I was like, you know what, $125 for a visor, sure. I can do that. I can wear this by the pool. Super cute. So I went ahead and bought it and then that sparked the ridiculous luxury conversation of how many luxury houses have visors and how expensive they are. And this was actually the cheapest of the list. So this on the Saint Laurent website was $125. It says made in PRC, which is the People's Republic of China. So it is made in China as the Saint Laurent label right there. I'm going to cut this tag off because of, it kind of shows it fits all heads because it has elastic and it fits my giant head. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is ridiculous, right? But how cute would it be with like a bun or a ponytail? Just like, you know, out at the soccer game or laying by the pool. I kind of love this. It's an insanely stupid amount of money to spend on a visor that says Saint Laurent. It's ridiculous, you guys. We do ridiculous things sometimes, but I'm here to tell you that I support this purchase. I also bought another mask with a bandana print. I'm addicted to bandana prints. It has not shown up yet. So not sure when that will arrive, but I'll show you on the screen. I was questioning whether we still need to be buying masks, but honestly, I just think it's kind of like a courteous thing to do if I'm sick to kind of not be spreading germs to others. So I figured why not? Another cute print. I liked the quality of my previous mask. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. Looking through the whole summer collection, they had all all kinds of cute things. They had really cute new era Saint Laurent baseball caps. They had surfboards, skimboards, skateboards. They were insanely expensive, but if you can afford something like that, they were really cute. They had floaties, drink floaties, and actual pool floaties for yourself. They had some new summer totes with cute prints on them, summer themed prints. The lighters, again, I tried to get a lighter, but they were sold out. I also think that they probably can't ship them with lighter fluid. There's probably like rules and reg regulations on that. So maybe they only sell them in store. They had $90 coffee mugs in different prints, which they had these last time. $90 is kind of a lot, but again, if you're feeling bougie, go for it. They had new masks. One of the coolest things that I saw that they had you guys though, was the yoga accessories. If you do yoga, I think you should definitely check them out because they were sleek, black, like what, exactly what you would picture for Saint Laurent. But one of my favorite things was the yoga ball for $60 and it was on pre-order. I mean, $60 isn't that much. I think that's how much those balls normally cost. So if you do yoga, go check out the ball, the straps. They had a like a stretching blocker, whatever those are called. They also had some expensive bikinis and swim trunks, a really cute tool bra, with the YSL logo on it, but it was pretty expensive at 275. And then just a bunch of cute summer stuff. It was basically a summer collection. So if you're interested in a luxury branded visor, go check out this Saint Laurent one for $125 on the Saint Laurent website. I will link it below. I'm not sponsored. I'm not an affiliate of Saint Laurent, but I bet you that they will sell out. So if you're interested, go check it out in the description box. Now, as part of this video of ridiculous luxury, items, I wanted to tell you about seven other luxury brands that sell visors for ridiculous price points, but you might be interested in them. So the first one, Dior has a few different options, but the most expensive one is the Trois de Jouis version for $1,000. It comes in three color options, raspberry, lime, and navy. And there's also a oblique version in gray that is also $1,000. So if you love that print and you are very into the intricate craftsmanship and embroidery that makes up the Trois de Jouy pattern, then this one might be a good option for you. But again, it is a thousand dollar luxury.
luxury visor. Next, they have a natural straw visor for $920. And then you've got the oblique one uh, that ranges in price depending on if it has the oblique print or not. It starts at $460 and goes up to $560 depending on if you get it in the blue, the silver mirror, the black, or the nude colorway. These are really cute and really popular, but obviously very expensive. All of these Dior versions are made in Italy. Next on the list is Chanel. There are three colorways of this straw and grow grain visor for $975. My favorite colorway is the beige and black. These are really simple and cutesy, perfect for a day at the country club, if you ask me, which is not really up my alley, but I think that the beige black colorway is very classic looking. Next, there are two different visor options from Louis Vuitton. This Raffia one that released recently for $990. I'm not sure if you can still get it. And then there was also this one that released in the recent spring summer collection for $880. It came in both a brown and pink colorway and it also has the nice like tinted visor part which is really cute. $880 is a lot of money though for a visor. These do not say where they are made on the website. Next on the list this really cute Chloe one I actually saw on Farfetch the embroidered logo visor. It retails for $500. It is also made in Italy. Off-White has this super cute scarf visor in either white or black. It retails for $505. I love the addition of the scarf that you can tie in the back. And this one is also made in Italy. Prada has a nylon visor for $420. It is sold out and it does not say where it is made, but of course it is very classic with the Prada triangle logo and the nylon material that they use often. Last but not least, this Celine visor in wool with embroidery. It retails for $405. It is also made in Italy. It looks a little heavier for summer, whereas these other options are very much summer options. But there you go. There are visor options from seven different luxury brands if you're in the market for a visor. Your most affordable option is this Saint Laurent option. I like it because I'm pleasantly surprised. I I expected it to be cheap. I expected it to be, you know, nothing crazy, but I love that it is adjustable and it can fit huge heads like mine. And I love this ombre rainbow color. I hope that it doesn't give me a Saint Laurent tan line on my face. Like I said, I don't think this has UV protection, so be warned, always wear your sunscreen. But if you are looking for an affordable, bougie luxury visor, go ahead and pick this one up before it sells out because I bet you that it will be gone before we know it. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more ridiculous luxury listicles, then go ahead and tell me down below in the comments. I'll be happy to put some more together. Thank you for joining me for this impromptu video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.